<laughs> uh, I came to India for one main reason and a whole lot of little reasons. In this video, I'm gonna talk more about why I make videos about India and why so many other foreigners probably I came to India because I was looking for creative inspiration. I came here on a trip to see some friends, to go on a retreat. I went back to the USA and I was noticing just how I wanted to spend more time making photos and making videos. Yet I was working a lot to pay my bills. I had such a good time in India. I took some photos, I had fun with the people, I made some videos, I had fun doing that. Why not come over to India, live a simpler life, spend more time making videos, and doing things that are, are really important to me and less things that are less important to me. Now, why did India call to me? Like what, I, I think that's hard to describe, you know? So I work at a company, a matchmaking company. So we help people get together and find love and get married eventually one day. And so I think about this example and that term, like if I really like someone, why do I like them? Well, maybe they have nice hair or I think they're pretty or they have a nice personality. But it's really hard to describe why I like that person. And I feel the same way about India. Like, why do I like India? Well, I like it. I don't know. I just kept thinking about it. I was like, oh, I want to go back there. Now, now, if I really try, like, what are all the little reasons why I wanted to move to India? Well, let's try to go through them right now. Let's do that. I like the driving. I like how crazy it can be. I like the colorful saris. I like the little kids who dress up even though they're living in, in a smaller, uh, not very like wealthy house. I like the weather. It's so hot and I love it. I like the pride Indian people have in their country. I love the chai on the street. I love just the friendly people too. As I was driving here, some old guy just looks at me with a big smile and shakes his head. I love that just five minutes ago on this path, there was a bunch of goats going that way. I love that I've rented a house for two years without a lease. I love the healthy vegetarian food. Basically, I think a lot of things in India are pretty cool. And I like this book, Walden. Read it in college. A poet goes to live by a pond. He does his writing. He grows his potatoes. He lives a simple life. Rather than love, than money, than fame, give me truth. For me, India is my Walden. <laughs> I love that I can like make a video on this and people just drive by like it's a normal thing. I mentioned India inspiring me creatively. You know, America was cool too. I lived in Austin, Texas. It's a creative town. I had so much fun there. Something about Austin though wasn't that creatively inspiring. It was a bunch of hipsters. I don't know, it's a little too trendy for my personal tastes. Now when I came to India, I knew that I wanted to make videos. I didn't know what I wanted to make videos about at first. Making videos about India was one of many options. Now, the main question for me was, how can I be the most helpful? I come from a line of teachers, like my mom's a teacher, my sister's a teacher, my cousin helps kids speak better, my aunt helps kids speak better, my grandmother was a guidance counselor, and in some ways I'm a teacher too, even though I've never actually been a teacher. I did run a school for troubled kids though. And if we wanna talk a little bit about strategy, so I want it to be helpful, but I also know that being helpful on YouTube is a great way to have, you, have your channel go well. Like I realize I'm not one of these beautiful people living in a mansion, you know, who they're just gonna watch me go about my daily life and I'll be rich and famous. That's never gonna happen. I knew that if I wanted to do well on YouTube, I needed to be super helpful to people, offering great information. So I was like, how can I really help as many people as possible with something I'm interested in? Bing! Help people come to India. Because people were blowing up my inbox anyways. Friends were like, yo, Ben, how much are you paying in India? I'm like, yo, I'm paying like 167 bucks a month. They're like, what? No way! Can you get hamburgers in India? No, but I can get veg burgers. I can get chicken burgers. They're like, what? I'm getting all these questions about India and I'm kind of a lazy guy in some sense. I work a ton right now, but I'm only working a ton right now so I can be lazy one day. I also thought like, hey, why don't I just answer my friend's questions in videos Maybe it'll help other people too. Bada boom, bada bing. I was also thinking like, I read a study that India was one of the worst places for digital nomads. And when I came here on my trip, I got good internet, 
My friends said they had good internet. They worked online. I'm like, wait a minute, that's not true. If I could help more people come to India, India is an awesome place. I've had an awesome time there. It's changed my life. Hey, maybe I could help change other people's lives too. I also knew that I want to learn how to make great movies. You know, it's like you have this creative talent, but you don't have time for it because you're working 40, 50 hours a week, and then you, you're, you're tired, and you probably have some bad habits because you live in a big town, and everyone goes out to the bar, and they drink beer, and eat unhealthy foods, and so you do it too, and you like it too, and it's a lot of fun, and it's too much fun, and so you don't want to make a video because you're tired in any ways. You get my point. If I'm going to make videos, I got to do a lot of work to get good at making videos. Here in India, like, no one goes out to drink. There's very few restaurants for me to eat at. I make healthy food, I live a healthy lifestyle, I make videos and I work and that's pretty much it. Yeah. I see comments that like, you're just making videos about India for the money. <laughs> and you know, I've made 73 videos so far. I've tracked how much time I've spent on a lot of them and the answer is... I used to be very diligent about tracking how much time I spent on each article and video. And you can see that in the time that I've been working on my blog and my YouTube channel, I've spent 1,240 hours doing the work. Now I did stop being as diligent somewhere around here. And so a lot of the time over the past few months hasn't been tracked. A quick look inside my analytics can show you that over the past year, I've made $4,320. Now, like I said, I didn't track how much time I spent editing my videos over the past few months. So realistically, I'm making about two or three dollars per hour working on my YouTube channel. Here's a look at my CPM in YouTube. CPM means cost per thousand impressions. YouTube ads pay far less for Indian viewers than for American viewers. So if you really wanna make money on YouTube with an Indian audience, you need to have 10 times as many people as an American audience. I could have made a lot more money doing something else, Steph, is what I'm trying to say. Now I will say, if you wanna make money from YouTube videos, I don't think making videos about India is the way to go. You're better off doing a hobby that most Americans do, making money for Americans, and targeting. You can have a small audience and make a decent living on YouTube doing that. If you're interested in that, check the link below because I have some friends teaching people how to make blogs and YouTube channel that show how to do that. Now for me, I never cared about money before, but I made some bad mistakes and I do care about money now. It is important to me. I want a hobby that I can make money from. To me, the more money I can make from this YouTube channel means the less I need to work at my other job and means the more time and effort I can spend making better videos for my YouTube channel. It just makes sense. And you do see this trend with uh, reaction videos and other videos about India getting a ton of views. And on one level, I feel Two ways about that. One, hey, I'm a, they're YouTube people, I'm YouTube people. If you're getting an audience, way to go, because I know it's a lot of work. On the second side of it, it seems like a lot less work than what I'm doing. Wait, you just sit at home, watch a YouTube video and record it, and then say what you thought about it? That's your video? I'll spend eight hours editing a video. I'll spend two days editing a video. I'll spend a month editing a video just because creatively, like I want it to look a certain way. Now I know a lot of people like reaction videos and I can see why from a psychological perspective because people like to see other people's perspectives on things. Actually, someone did make a reaction video about one of my videos. I was like, what? I've never made a reaction video before. I barely watched them, but let's just react to that reaction video about my video now. Great taste in videos. Anyways, I make travel videos. I want to help people come to India to have a great time like I've had. I want people to go back to their home country and be like, India is freaking awesome. You should go. And I know that India has challenges. Like, I know in the, in the way that I love it that it's the same way that you love your family. You know, you're like, I love you, but you're a little bit crazy. So grateful to have the audience here. I also think it's gonna be a ton of fun to travel around India, having a YouTube channel. Got a call today from one of the uh, subscribers. He lives near Mangalore. 
has a cool farm. Oh, that's why I make videos about India. If you like this video, please click the like button. Help me get my channel out to more people. Or if you have a video idea, always put it below in the comments. I check it all the time and I'm always looking and getting great ideas from people just like yourself. Stay tuned till next week when we have another video about beautiful India.